Hey, it's Joseph here. I've got a little bit of sad news as I have to let go of my dearly used four and a half years old Surface Pro 4. This specific laptop was actually launched in October of 2015, I believe, and I bought it in December and I have been using it since. And up until now, it served me very well, but recently I have noticed that the screen is starting to lift off so on this edge here, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but on this bottom edge here, there's a little gap between the screen and the body. And also on the side a little bit, there's a bit of flex whenever I press on the screen. And it's especially noticeable when you're writing on it because this tablet is meant to use a pen and write on the device. And I just noticed just ton of flex as opposed to before and the screen is kind of bulging and the reason for that is because the battery inside is starting to expand and I have researched and this is quite a noticeable thing for some of the users out there I guess this device runs hot or it always has this issue and I have noticed this too where I leave this laptop in a backpack and it starts to run on its own with the screen on and it gets really hot and I'm sure a lot of people also have experienced that issue and it could be due to the heat that it was exposed to and the battery after a prolonged period it just kind of wears out and start to expand for the old electronics that has lithium iron batteries it's quite usual for the batteries to wear out and it is not unseen to have bulging or expanding batteries it can actually catch fire or overheat or the worst case would be exploding actually my wife had an old apple macbook the plasticky white one that had an expanding battery therefore the keyboard was expanding and we can easily open it and remove the battery and the laptop would run just fine as long as you keep the power connected however for this laptop i cannot do that because i have to pry the screen open and i probably will damage it if i were to attempt that and as the system works, I can continue to use it and charge and deplete, but I don't wanna further damage the laptop as it is going to lift off and perhaps even crack the screen if I use it further. So I have reached out to Microsoft to see what are the options that are possible for this old device. And I am given pretty much three different choices. And one is to repair, or actually they just replace, this device out of warranty service and it's gonna cost me around $450 for the service and $100 in tax for $550 I can replace this laptop and does this laptop worth $550 no it doesn't so i'm probably not gonna do that and the second option is to trade in this device for another purchase through their website i don't know if i want another microsoft device at this point so and the third option is to toss this or sell it for parts and stuff like that but that is something outside of the realm of microsoft to service so basically on a nutshell that's what has been happening with this device. But I also wanna get into why do I like this device so much? And in fact, I like it so much that I've done a few things to it. First of all, I got a skin so that it doesn't really scratch. And I also had purchased this USB-C to surface connector converter so I can actually connect this laptop via USB-C power delivery ports that is more than 60 watts capable. I don't know if you have noticed, but on the front of the laptop, actually there's a screen protector. It is a matte type because I don't prefer the glossy screen that Surface Pro ships with. This matte type of screen really allows you to draw and see the screen better, and I really prefer this. So those are the little tweaks that I have done, and you can do exactly the same things to any of the recent revision of 
the Surface Pro. And the battery life is not as long anymore where it used to last about 7 hours. However, after several years, the battery doesn't last as long. On the first day I had purchased this, I was on a long flight and it lasted more than seven hours. But after that, I don't think it lasts more than like an hour now. So I don't expect any battery life out of this at the moment and given the condition too. But at least in end of 2015, this device was very unique. There was nothing like it before where it detaches with the keyboard and it becomes a tablet and for anyone who's thinking that this is tablet i think it's more of a laptop than a tablet so if an ipad pro is a tablet that can do sort of laptop e stuff this is more of a laptop that does kind of tablet-y stuff on top. So consider this more as a thin and light laptop that can do touch functions and a pen as well. And getting to the pen, it's really useful as an architectural designer to be able to draw. Even if it's something as simple as commenting on a PDF or sketching out an idea, it's really useful. I have been using OneNote to just kind of jot down notes whenever I need to. And I'm having a hard time replacing that as I always use this device to take notes. But in the recent days, there are other choices of devices that does the same functionality, namely HP Spectre 13 inch model, the two in one model, and also XPS from Dell 13 inch that is two in one as well. So I'm interested in those two devices to try out. I know there's one from Lenovo, which is C740, I believe that has a pen input and it supposedly works well too but i have very limited experience with lenovo and i'm more inclined to go towards dell just because of my experience so far so i may actually get around ordering one and testing out whether it is suitable for my workflow or not and as to why do i need this device actually i have a really good machine under this desk it's a desktop that does pretty much anything video production architectural designs and renderings and vrs it does everything and it does it very well in my office at my day job they have a good computer to use as well but somewhere in between i have to work or it could even be just a note-taking purposes i could be working on kitchen table casually or take some notes on a phone call or go to the living room and do some light tasks there i just need something to fill out the void in between the big fat machines from home to work and that's why i don't need such a powerful device i just need something to fill that gap and i don't know what would be the alternative or the replacement of this device is going to be it could be the more recent iteration of surface pro i believe it is surface pro 7 so i really don't know how it's going to be I'll just update you on this channel what my progress on searching for in between our laptop and I just wanted to kind of do what has been happening with my dearly loved Surface Pro 4 and I just need to consider the alternatives since this is dying. If you guys have any ideas about what my next thin and light everyday really small laptop should be like then leave the comments down below i would be interested in hearing what other people are thinking about and if you have liked this content please like and subscribe to my channel for content like this thank you so much for watching as always i'll see you next time bye